and welcome to another edition of Lab Rats. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And this is Sean's hair. This is my new hair. Yes, I don't know if you'll see in the later in the, in the blooper that he didn't have good hair before. Shh, don't give anything away. <laughs> now he has really good hair. Okay, today we now we're back in Toronto now. Yes. You came all the way out from Vancouver, as you mm -hmm. can see, the usual set. The cats are around somewhere. Yes. And today on the show, we are going to do a food demo. No, we're not. But I, I see. thought we were going to do how plasma and LCD work. Yes. But I have tomatoes ready. Yes, and cheese and I cheese. see as well. So I've been over cheese. cheese. Last, the last episode. Though, and that cheese is long gone, buddy. <laughs> that was disgusting. So you're actually going to do, how are you going to do this? You're going to act it out? Well, I went to the hardware store, and uh -huh. uh, I actually decided to buy some real parts. Oh, my so God. We're, props. Yeah, we've got props. I made a couple of pixels for you. Wow. Yeah, so... For the uh, PC pixels or Mac pixels? Yes. If they're pretty, they're probably Mac pixels clicking on pretty pixels. Well, this one's a little bit uh, ugly looking, so you can draw your own conclusions. Right. <laughs> Let's uh, break for a message from our sponsor, and we'll be right back. This is Biff and Boo. They are Andy's cats. This is Andy's pillow. It is freshly laundered. This is Camtasia Studio 4. It's the best screencasting software ever. Now answer our trivia question. What screencasting software does not smell like cat pee or high when it's bad? I'll be back at the end of the show with the answer. Well, as you can see, uh, the... <laughs> Biff is already excited about your new prop thingy. Yeah, he wanted a close-up of the demo, I guess, but uh, we're going to have to get him out of the way here. All right, Biffer, off the table. No, uh, he, can, he can sit on your side. Come on. All right. Okay. All right, so LCD versus plasma. Yes, so we uh, have talked about LCD and plasma television before in sort of theory, and we've uh, you know talked about why you'd want one over the other. Yeah. But uh, we haven't talked about how they actually work, and I find this very interesting. Well, before we get to that, I just want to, just for the people that drive minivans out there, LCD, plasma, what are they exactly, okay. technology-wise? Okay, so uh, LCD and plasma are both high-definition, well, not necessarily high-definition, but they're new big-screen TVs. They're flat panel. Um, this one right here is not flat panel. It actually goes back quite a ways, but for those ones that are about this deep, uh, this is what we're talking about. There's, there's two main technologies that go into that. One's right. LCD and one of them is plasma. Right. LCD stands for liquid crystal display. Right. And plasma is the type of gas that's inside the screen itself. Right. And we'll go into that okay. in, a, in a few seconds. So one's a liquidy technology and one's a kind of a gassy technology. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kind of like joke. you. <laughs> you made the joke. Thank you. Yes. Liquidy right. and gassy. That's me. All right, so we, we had talked about doing this as a food demo for a long time. I, I think know. since episode two or three, I we're like, know. how can we use cheese and popcorn and all of this to explain how the, this works? Yeah, the reality is, is the food demos are very, they're very specific about mm. what you can do with them, obviously, because mm. food tends not to be able to change shape and form and things like that. So mm. you can melt things, and if that works, great, but otherwise it's harder to do. So we've yeah. been looking for a demo to do food around this, but... Yeah, so I actually spoke uh, to... Uh, um, Bill McCrone, who used to be the editor of uh, PC Magazine, we were yeah. on a trip together and we started tossing around ideas and we always got uh, close to what we were going to do. Okay, so you can take pudding, right? And then you can, uh, but how do you turn it back into pudding after you turn That's it? Right. Okay, so. And change state and then unchange it. Yeah, so we, we had tossed around some ideas. You get jello and then you blowtorch the jello and change it, but then how do you I get it? I discover you can't blowtorch jello. You can't blowtorch jello. You, you just snuff out the blowtorch. You do. <laughs> So, and then we, we got into these really convoluted sort of ideas. Okay, so then you take this, you backlight it with this, and then you put a cup of coffee in front of it. It's just like, you know what? Yeah. I figured in the end, this is too complicated. It's not going to get the point across. Not right. that the food demos ever do anyways. Yes, they do. Uh, but People we figured, why don't we just build a pixel? All right, well, good. Out of parts. All so, right. um, and we'll have the total cost for this flying across the this bottom. Right, like, right here. How much did it cost? Total hardware bill. That much. Yeah. So what we've got right now uh, on the desk is we've got a plasma pixel. A plasma pixel. So we, we should talk about the... Uh, pixel how, is? A pixel is one unit on your screen. So if you see the screen, there's 
it's made up of tiny little dots if you zoom in close enough. Mm -hmm. And each of those dots on there is comprised of three colors, red, green, and blue. Right. And one red, green, and blue grouping is called a pixel, okay. or a yeah. picture element. Picture element. Right. right. So now, uh, when you make enough of those on the screen, it forms this picture. Yeah. And the trick is turning the red, green, and blue on at the right time, mm -hmm. and turning them on to the right level because if you have either red, green, or blue, that's red, green, or blue, right? So you mm -hmm. have to create different, various different shades of them, so intensities of them, mm -hmm. to create various different shading. Right, so, so 256 shades of red, green, and blue gives you 60 million colors. Yes. Ish. Ish. So yeah, you uh, want to be able to turn them on to exactly the right intensity mm -hmm. uh, in exactly the right color. So okay. if it's uh, green on the screen, you're not going to see any of the red or the blue pixels if it's red, vice versa. If it's purple, you're going to have a combination of them, right? right. So how, how you combine them is what counts here. OK. So, so turn the thing on. Turn the thing on. Well, get, just careful now. OK. So we're going to start. Biff, you're going to be in the way of our pixel again. So you just chill out over here. Oh, this cat. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> oh, OK. Well. Oh, for oh. Her. You heard the cat. I'm going to call the SPCA on you. Oh, we're going to have some, uh, some viewers Seems doing that already. So sad, yeah. All right. All right. So um, what we have here is uh, a plasma pixel. Mm -hmm. So um, again, we've got uh, red, green, and blue uh -huh. in here. Right. And the way plasma works, first of all, is it has plasma gas inside these little chambers. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the plasma gas itself is not colored. It, uh, the coloring on a plasma screen is provided by phosphor, just like it was on old CRT monitors. Okay. So what happens is when you introduce electricity mm -hmm. into the plasma screen, mm -hmm. or into these little chambers, mm -hmm. it excites it and starts shooting electrons around, which hits the phosphor, lighting it up. Make it, makes it glow. Right. Okay. So we're going to simulate that here with a little fluorescent tube. So if you think of plasma as a, like a whole grid of little fluorescent tubes with red, green, and blue phosphor yeah. in front of them. So we're going to turn on the red. Here. Right. Oh, that's actually the blue. That's the blue. This was turned around. So this is red and this is green. So it, how you uh, combine these yeah. in various shades is going to uh, determine what color you get in that pixel. Okay. Now with this, you can see when we sort of bring them down a little bit, they start flickering. I don't know whether that's coming across on the camera, but it's it's flickering pretty badly and it's it's phasing, right? So we don't want to do that. So with uh, with plasma, what you do to get the colors to come up in intensities is you turn them on and off more and more rapidly. Okay. So if you do this, it's a lower intensity. If you if you keep flashing it more rapidly, then it's going to be a brighter shade of red. Okay. And then how you keep doing that throughout the uh, for all three different for colors. all three different colors right. will. Now you don't see that is. visually, you know, when you actually look at the screen. No, it's going very very fast okay. when it, when it's doing this. So it's uh, refreshing at about sixty times per second okay. typically you right. can and with a, a monitor on your desktop uh, that is uh, an LCD monitor it can be even faster but they both work the same way you refresh them a certain amount of times per second right. so plasma this is it you excite the little chambers of plasma and do you tickle them under the chin you could <laughs> you could I suppose but uh, you, you excite the gas yeah it shoots electrons out right. which hits the the Phosphor. Right. Right? And then That's as a result, works. you watch an episode of Baywatch. Yes. Something like that. Something like In that. In high definition. In high definition. Now, one of the problems with this technology, well, uh, before we get to the problem, let's talk about the, the benefits of this. Yes. Uh, very, very vibrant colors. Because you're using phosphor inside the, uh, the front panel of the monitor mm -hmm. to do this, you've got the same sort of color depth as you have in an old CRT monitor now. Because that uses phosphorus as well, It uses right? phosphorus. So yeah. it's, it's exactly the same sort of thing. It excites that, except with the old CRT monitors, it was being excited by a gun shooting electrons, electrons at it. Right, OK. In this case, it's just a bunch of tiny little transistors all across the screen turning on and off really quickly. Okay. So it's, it's all doing that independently, so it doesn't have to draw it. So it, a nice, crisp picture. It, yeah. it doesn't have a flicker like an old CRT monitor did, because mm -hmm. it's all done at the pixel level instead of one by one. And it's bright, too, right? It's very bright. Right. Now, why is that? Um, it's just the nature of Cause the excitement. You're turning picture, you're, you're, I think what's happening is you're, turning, you're, you're creating these photons, which are going out mm -hmm. through the phosphor, mm -hmm. and the light's coming from behind straight mm -hmm. at your eye. Would Pretty much. Sense, right? Sort of kind yeah. Of. Yeah. And the nice thing about uh, this is um, it has a very good contrast ratio. Uh -huh. Now, that's well, one, of that the, one of the things that, uh, that plagues a lot of pictures is the difference between black 
uh -huh. and color. Uh -huh. So you want a bigger ratio between those two in terms of how much light is coming out of them. Right. That determines how black your picture is going to be in the parts where it should be black. How black is black, how white is white. Right. The contrast ratio between the two? Right. Okay. So with uh, plasma, it's a very good contrast ratio because when it's on, it's on. Mm -hmm. And when it's off, it's black. It's, it's black. It's black. Oh, so you're good. seeing black because there's nothing going through that. Because all on would be white. All on would be white. And then various in between would be different colors. Right. So if you want to see blue, there's right. blue. And then all off is a black pixel. Right. So now the good news about that for black it's using a lot less electricity because oh. it's only turning on one picture element. Right. When you're turning all of them on, it's basically coursing through tons and tons of electrons and a lot of energy going through this. So, um, if you're watching space programming that has like nothing but black screens with little bits of stars in there, uh -huh. it's being fairly energy efficient. When you're seeing something like uh, that movie Atenarjuat that was set in the Arctic, uh -huh. where it's all snow, uh -huh. well, guess what? You're just, your power bill just went up, <laughs> like pretty substantially. So the lesson here is do not watch shows about penguins in the Antarctic because it'll cost it more expensive than watching Alien. Yes, so Alien is actually a more fuel-efficient movie than like, that. like uh, March of the Penguins. <laughs> <laughs> so th that's the downside of plasma. It uses a lot of energy. Now, the companies that make these two technologies, that make both of them, like the people that make only LCD are like, LCD is the best thing in the entire world. And people that make plasma are like, plasma is the most fantastic technology you can ever have. Uh -huh. People that make both of them are saying, you know what? Here's the pluses and the minuses. And they're trying to say, you know, it's about the same. Uh -huh. um, so who has credibility in your mind in terms of those guys? You know, make, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Samsung, Samsung, uh, I think makes some pretty good things. Now, the, the the one company that was trying to say, you know, they're both about as efficient as the other one was Panasonic. Mm. They, they did this entire road tour where they were talking to journalists and saying, you know what, plasma is about as efficient as LCD, mm -hmm. um, because um, there was this lingering thought that plasma uses a lot of electricity, way more than LCD. And it's not really the case anymore. Plasma has become a lot more efficient than it used to be. Mm -hmm. But you know what? If you're watching regular programming, and I did this with a power meter once, if you're watching regular programming, plasma still uses more energy. If all you watch is space program, plasma is actually going to be more efficient than LCD. Mm. But if you watch like CNN with a variety of colors and shapes and movement, then plasma still uses more well, energy. Who would have thought that it, you know, global warming would make its way into our show? It's true. There you go. All right, awesome. Okay. Um, Shall I turn this uh, pixel off? Yes, please. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Good. Now, what's next? What's next is LCD. LCD, so, yay. So you talk about LCD while I do a quick okay. change over here. LCD is a technology that's usually found in uh, televisions under 40 inches, although it's actually broken that barrier. Uh, liquid crystal display. You've been looking at liquid crystal technology since those watches in the 1980s that had the little LCD screens. What have you done? Nothing. Did you break it? Yes. You did break it. Anyway, so, uh, and it typically is not an emissive technology, meaning that the light is, has to be backlit or sidelit or frontlit or something like that, because we're going to, and Sean will show you how this works in a minute. What the heck are you talking about? No, it's true. LCD, the problem with LCD is that you have to light pixels that are changing color. Or are you going to yes. correct me on that? No. I'm right. I'm, right. I'm always right on this stuff. Okay, come on. Let's go. Okay, right, so we, we, need, we, we have a shorter cable on this one, so we have to do a little bit of work here. A shorter cable over here, too. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> all right. Okay, so. Let's go. Now, LCD, as we just said, uh, with the plasma, you've got a little backlight on each little pixel element, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got little chambers filled with gas. Now, right. in this, with the LCD, you've got one backlight across the entire thing. Mm -hmm. Right, so it is your entire screen from here all the way down to here uses one backlight. Now it used to be a fluorescent backlight for the longest time. Now yeah. it's sort of switching over to LED, right. um, which is a little bit more efficient again. Which is a light emitting diode. Light emitting diode. I don't know if you've ever seen these new Christmas lights. Mm -hmm. like LED, or actually LED is on the isn't it on the back of cars now too. Yes, yeah. LED is actually one of the most. Uh, it's power actually efficient. it's power efficient and it's very very bright. Right. So um, the lights that we're using over here to light us up, the, they convert most of their energy into heat. LED itself uh, generates more light than heat. So anyways, so they're moving towards that on the back, but it has one across the whole screen. So you'd think there'd be a hot patch yeah. on the screen, but not necessarily. So we're going to show you how that works. Okay. So this is one pixel, but assume that this backlight right here is spread across the All entire pixels. screen, okay? okay. Yeah. 
So we're going to turn this one on, like so, and there's our, uh, there's our backlight. Very good. Um, so it's creating a hot spot right now, but we're going to change that a little bit with a little diffuser. Okay? Clever. So now we're diffusing that no, light. Not so intense, and the light's more even. Right. Okay. okay. Now this is one pixel. That's one pixel. Oh, this, well, this diffuser goes across the entire screen, right. first of all. Now this is one pixel. Uh -huh. Now we're going to put our colors across. Now with the LCD, you have just basically this light in behind it, and then this filter that goes over top that has the red, green, and blue. So you've got red, green, blue, uh -huh. red, green, blue. And we'll do a little close-up image here of the, uh, what the actual pixels look like on the it's screen. It's also like the uh, Czechoslovakian flag or the, something like that, isn't it? I don't know. It looks like a flag. Did you ever take geography? <laughs> no, I didn't. All right. It's not Czech so, because it's the Czech Republic now. But I may be wrong. I'm sure I'm wrong. All right, go on. Let's talk after you go back and take a, a pickup course at university on this. All right, so now what we need to do is yes. we need to turn this on or off, because right now it's on. And this is one of the problems with uh, LCD monitors is the backlight is always on. And this is, we were talking about contrast ratio earlier with plasma, right? Uh -huh. So uh, with plasma, it's on or off uh -huh. per pixel. Uh -huh. Biff, we're recording over here. With LCD, you may have noticed looking at your LCD monitor that even when it's black, there's always this glow around the edges. Yeah, because the backlight And that's is on. because the backlight is on. Oh. Now, what LCD is doing is it is... He's, he's still mad that I turfed him off the desk. <laughs> Brian, get a shot of Biff. He's like, you know, pay attention to me. You know, it's, this is not about the show. It's about me. Anyway. I know. Can't help I'm going to say never work with animals or Andy Walker. <laughs> um, anyways, so with LCD, what you're doing instead of turning the light on is yeah. you're blocking the light. Okay. All right? Yeah. So liquid crystal uh, is this liquid that can turn into a crystal when you zap it with That's electricity. Right. Yeah. And we're going to simulate that here with these IMAX 3D oh, right. goggles. Very cool. All right, so now this I mean, it doesn't look particularly special right here, right? No. And it doesn't look particularly special right here. Right. So, but the problem is, is you've got to, okay, you have the liquid crystal, and we're, we're doing this a little bit out of order here because of uh, the nature of this. The liquid crystal portion resides behind the filter. Yes. And there's a polarizer on the other side of the filter. Okay. But that would be kind of awkward. It'd be more like this, wouldn't it? Although it won't really work for our demo purposes. But no, the, like that. no, they sound the other side. So you've got the diffuser behind it, you've got the, uh, the liquid crystal, then you've got the filter, and oh. then you've got the polarizer. But that's uh. that's going to be awkward for the purposes of the demo. But it'll work roughly the same. Okay. Okay. So you've got the liquid crystal in behind, and then the polarizer. Yeah. And what you're going to do is you're going to twist now the liquid crystal. Now you're turning up the electricity here, on the way. <laughs> so you're turning the electricity on the liquid crystal portion to a various degree, yeah. and it'll blacken and, and actually block the light from passing. Right. And then you, you know, release it, and it comes so back as up. As you turn up the energy, the, uh, the, uh, the molecules in the liquid actually twist, and they become, they basically block. Yeah. And as you turn the electricity off, they, un they untwist. Yeah. yeah, so they change polarity, they turn into a crystal, and uh, then the polarizer in front blocks the light from coming through. Right, okay. So, and, and you said this, this is blocking it out to almost black on this. This isn't mm. perfect, but it's close. But I mean, as you can see, the, you know, you still have a bit, a bit of glow around it, even though it's blocking yeah. it out. And that's such a very good demo. Mm -hmm. Very clever. And he didn't use tomatoes. And I didn't use tomatoes. Uh, yeah, and tomatoes don't block light that well when you have them in thin slices. <laughs> we should probably wrap up. Um, anything else before we go to commercial? No. No. I think okay. we're good. All right. So let's go to commercial. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, have new, we have a new sponsor, so we have to do this. It's the first time we've done. So this. we turn the pixel off. Yeah, turn the pixel off for the commercial. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right. <clears throat> so deliver the camera. Domain names from GoDaddy.com are up to 70% less than the competition. Plus, each domain includes free hosting with a website builder, a free blog, complete email, and much more. Wow, there you go. And, uh, as a viewer of Lab Rats, enter the code ANDY, A-N-D-Y. What? Yeah, ANDY. Coupon code ANDY, A-N-D-Y. Why ANDY? <laughs> because I, because I talked to this sponsor, A-N-D-Y. And uh, when you check it out, you can save an additional 10% uh, on any order. Um, some restrictions apply. Go see the site for details and get your piece of the internet at godaddy.com. I don't think that's fair that that's just A-N-D-Y. 
Hey, man. I saw the ad. All right. Uh, thank you, GoDaddy, by the way. All right. So, got pictures for us? We got pictures. Labra? Where's Labra? Go on. Is Labra in one of these? No. Oh. Labra is. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was awesome. <laughs> all right, so who, who's, who's first? <laughs> well, I'd like to uh, say thank you, first of all, to uh, our first uh, picture viewer because he submitted this a long, long time ago. He's been we're really patiently. sorry it took so long. Yeah, you know, we're, we're taping these in batches now. So if you uh, submit your picture to us at feedback at labrats.tv, uh, it may take a while before we get around to it at this point, but please do submit it and it will be up. So submit now if you want to see your, your uh, photograph now. in 2008. Now, 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 now. This is the first show of the new batch. Okay. So this is Ole from Sweden. Ole from Sweden. Oh, my God. Like, didn't he write us on like, episode four? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Right. But uh, Ole is the one that is buried in the bottom of this uh, pile of snow right now. Okay. These are his cousins around Another him. photograph where the person that sent the picture in is, not, is barely in the picture. What is it with you guys? I don't get it. They're a shy bunch. I know they are, clearly. They're saving up their, their own personal picture for their own podcast. I guess. All right. Ollie, thank you. From where is he? From Sweden? Sweden. Very good. Very good. Yes. And this is Evan from Hawaii with his wife. Ah. I don't know whether he's in Hawaii, but, uh, or uh, whether he's from Hawaii or didn't, but he's in Hawaii. Is that image pixelated or is he got some Yeah, images? it's a little bit pixelated. He's a bit of stubble, kind of oh, like me. Stubble. But, uh, but yes. It looks like he no. took a face plant in, into the beach. Uh, yeah, so the, there's a little bit, I love how Andy just insults these photographs and our <laughs> viewers and all of that. So we've talked before, you don't need to send a 6 megapixel image. Try not sending a, a 4 me or a 4K image as well, because when we blow it up, yeah. it uh, turns out a little bit This gentleman's name is? Evan. Evan. Well, Evan, thank you for that photograph and for you and your wife, girlfriend? Uh, wife, I believe, yes. Wife, okay. There you go. So we can actually see the picture. I like that. That's yes. Good. Handsome fellow. Ah, uh, I thought you'd like this image right here. Yes. Yeah. No. No, I don't like that image. <laughs> yes, well, I cat's know. cat's good. Cat's Apple bad. Yes. iPhone good. I like the iPhone. iPod good. iPod good. And you kind of like the MacBook Pro. Admit it. They can't see you. Hey, did I tell you I bought a brand new Dell XPS M1330? Is it obsolete yet? No, it's fabulous. It's so amazing. <laughs> when I get it, I'll, I'll bring it on the show. You'll see. Hmm. Anyways, the, the photograph here. The, the photograph, so, sorry. Who is this? Well, this is, this is our viewer, Richard. Hi, Richard. Wow, his, that's fabulous. His daughter, Sonia. Very good. And their cats, Dallas and Madison. Very nice. And, their, and an array of Apple products as well. So they got a couple of MacBooks, they got the iPods, and they got the iPhone. You couldn't, you couldn't even like, crop it here. Yeah, we, we could, but we're not going to. Yeah, you just, have to, you just have to suck it up, Andy. Anyways, not so shown here is wife Susan, who is taking the picture. So hello to all of you, hello and thank you for uh, sending the picture. And where are they? Uh, in Dallas? No. No. We don't know. They have just a cat called Dallas. They have a cat called Dallas. We don't know if they're in Dallas. For the we're sake not. of this demo, they're in Dallas. They're in Dallas. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm pretty sure Richard told me, but I forgot to oh, write well, that down. That's OK. You know what? They're in Appletown right now. <laughs> so the, that is a, a good variety of product. I like that. I know you do, too. No, that's great. Fabulous. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and that's it. Great. Well, that was a very fab. Even though you didn't put tomatoes and cheese in the demo, I thought it was a very well put together demo. I could smash you in the face with the apple right now. No. Or with the apple. The, with, the, with the apple. No, no. With All the right. tomato. That's it. If you uh, would like to send us email and say nice things about me and nothing, and, and comment on Sean's crunchy hair. Uh, send it to feedback at labrats.tv. It's crispy, not crunchy. <laughs> crispy and crunchy. New, uh, new cereal. Seanshair.com. I don't know. Um, that's it, I guess. That's <laughs> <laughs> That's totally it. That's, that's, that's more than enough. So, um, check out our, uh, our forms at cyberwalker.com slash forms, which we share with cyberwalker.com, the fabulous tech advice site that I run. <laughs> um, and uh, that's it. That is it. All right. Thanks for downloading this week. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And we'll see you next time. Are you ready?
show, we asked you what screencasting software does not smell like cat pee or hide when it's bad. Is it A. Biff and Boo, B. Andy's Pillow, or C. Camtasia Studio 4? The answer is Camtasia Studio 4. Learn more at labrats.techsmith.com. How they work, basically. So you've uh, seen them before. Actually, I just realized something. What? Sorry, I didn't uh, do my hair yet. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Cut. Go do your hair. Yes. Oh, my God. Can we turn the cameras off in the meantime? Yes. <laughs> That'll be our outtake. <laughs> <laughs>